Welcome everybody back to Dialar Swedic Tactics. This is going to be an Eternal Evolution character deep dive. Today we're going to be focusing on a tank. Now, tanks are kind of interesting in Eternal Evolution because normally in most games, you every team would want a tank. It'd be the big old meat shield that's protecting your team and it's going to let your damage healers pew pew and your healers going to keep them alive and you're going to be good to go. But in this game, it feels like Vanguard tanks, uh, which are hybrid tanks, are much better than straight up defense focused tanks uh, but we're gonna focus on Hercules today now I wouldn't recommend Hercules if you're gonna focus develop a tank I would recommend as you see right beside me uh, we got boar mr. bearman and oak those are much better tanks but I don't got them so I'm not gonna cover them yet we'll get to them but for now we're gonna discuss Hercules and then tomorrow I'm gonna put out a video talking about Oisa so strap in stay tuned let's dive into what makes hercules useful and as well how to gear him for the best effect so enjoy hercules 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 yes that had to be said now let's move on all right hercules a tank one of the few tanks i actually used as you saw this is the pay to win account he is immortal on this and as such i use him where i have to Let's dive into his skills first as always. So Hercules will link to an ally. It'll prevent that ally from receiving debuffs. And while that link exists, 70% of the damage that that person receives is gonna be transferred directly over to Hercules, but over eight seconds. It's kind of like a prism amulet where he'll receive that damage slowly. Uh, when there is no ally on the battlefield, he just receives a shield equal to 30% of his attack, which it's weird that it says it's attack. Uh, but he'll also be receive uh, immunity to debuffs for eight seconds. Really doesn't matter. If he's the last one on the field, you, you're not having a good day. Uh, so then that shield uh, at the end is just boosted. Uh, or Devastator. Why do they call him Devastator? Oh, he's also called the Devastator. So the shield is boosted through the level breaks. The talent modifier reads 100% of the damage received instead of 70 uh, by the target allies transferred to Hercules. When that link expires, the target or your ally will receive a shield equal to 2% of Hercules's defense. So defense, somewhat important, uh, but also if your ally is receiving a bunch of damage, it's gonna get transferred to Hercules. So HP is also important. Dev Hercules, the user, shall provide a shield equal to 1.8% of his max HP to allies, so multiple, for 12 seconds. This is one of his skills. It'll prioritize the ally with the lowest HP. And then there's a passive that says every time Hercules loses 20% of his HP, and it says every time, so you can heal him back up, I'm assuming it says every time, he shall gain a shield equal to 4% of his max HP for 10 seconds. So Hercules shields his allies based on a percentage of his max HP. And then every time he loses health, he'll gain a shield for himself equal to 4% of his max HP. Right, and the level breaks are just that passive shield increases a little bit, uh, like 4.4% 4, 4 of his max HP and 4.8, which, you know, it's, you know, Steps up, keep in mind it's 4%, base 4.4, 4.8, 5.2. And the talent modifier, the passive effect of energy core, which is the every time he loses 20%, is enhanced to add a shield to the user every 16% of max HP loss. So now you're gonna trigger that shield more often uh, because instead of 20, it is now 16. Thermal Hammer. Hercules swings a devastating Warhammer and deals 300% damage to enemies in front of him. With the talent modifier reading, each enemy hit will decrease 10 per, or will increase. So for each enemy he hits with this, he'll increase 10% defense uh, up to 30% lasting six seconds. So it's an attack. Really, you know, these, these straight tanks, really, you're not really relying on, on attack or them doing much damage now. Vanguard's whole other story, you expect them to do both. But this guy, 
Uh, yeah, um, it's kind of a wasted skill, in my opinion. And then his passive, recharged engine. When the shield of the energy core and projection barrier disappears, so keep in mind, this is energy core, and this is projection barrier. Projection barrier, well, he'll give it to himself if there's no allies, and he'll give it to his allies. Yes, when the link expires, the target will receive a shield equal to 2% of his defense. So when those shields disappear, Hercules gains 20% more defense for six seconds. So whatever, defense, good, good for a tank, right? And the Talon modifier reads, when a shield applied to Hercules expires, Hercules inflicts 0.5% HP as damage to surrounding enemies. So think how uh, the pain rune synergy works with uh, displacement units in Gautier. So in this case, when a shield applied to Hercules, so just to him expires, he'll do a little bit of damage, but really 0.5% of HP isn't a whole lot. So that's the skills as you see. Hercules' uh, kit kind of revolves around defense and HP, but in my opinion, HP is king. Like all elites, you know, go for all of the major talents, right? Like these ones. Uh, let's read his... Uh, I don't know what you call these ones. These are talents that aren't talent modifiers. So every time there's an enemy around... <laughs> Every time there's, there's always going to be an enemy around. Uh, the energy recovery rate increases by 20% is how that should read. And then when he is critically struck, uh, the damage taken is reduced by 8% and this effect will take effect at most once every two seconds. So a little bit of damage mitigation and then here a little bit of increased energy regeneration. So... I didn't put any other talents into anything I didn't have to. I just did the minor sub-talents, the ones I needed to get the, the big old big daddy talents. And I'd recommend you do the same. Uh, save your soul potions. Now equipment. So you see the game is going to ask you to do Herald, which, you know, maybe, you know, increases shield strengths by 30%, right? So. There is an argument to be made for possibly wanting to run a Herald set. But I, I, I'm not sold. Uh, the game also recommends vigorous and steady, right? Defense and health. So you could try out a Herald set, but really I try to go, I'm trying to go for all vigorous sets. I'm trying to just max out this puppy's HP, right? Get his HP as high as possible because that's what's going to keep him alive as your allies take damage and they're linked to Hercules. And as well, that's gonna increase his shield, right? It's gonna increase the amount of shield he puts out. Defense is gonna be, you know, it's gonna mitigate a little bit of damage on him and his uh, attack is based on defense. There's also a little bit of uh, attack synergy in there, but I'd ignore that. Really, HP is the King Daddy stat for Hercules. And as such, I recommend all health sets um, HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and then damage mitigation since he's going to be up front taking all those hits on the boots. Guys, I am running for your wondering why is he running an isolated piece as the headpiece? That is because for my current uh, gear stash, I'll show you. I don't have any white piece of gear that is uh, HP primary. I have this one right here, which I was running, but you know, keep in mind, it's 32% versus 50. So by running the 50% HP, I'm getting an extra 18% HP. Now, I am losing 15% by breaking the set, but it is still a net positive to me to be running this one because it gives me 3% more HP versus the HP uh, red helm. Uh, but I'm also getting more stats, so it has, let's just compare the two, right? The red one is going to give me resistance, crit damage reduction, and a little bit of extra defense, whereas the white one is going to give me more HP and damage reduction, which makes this piece an all-around better piece. Don't be afraid to 
break sets if you're gonna if the if you're still gonna benefit from them from them don't get tied into um focusing on uh set pieces i think jay Giggs just did a good video uh, explaining that uh, quite well his exclusive i only have it unlocked uh, the where you're gonna use this guy for the most part don't be wasting your runes on his exclusive just open it just you know in it and when you activate it Hercules, Hercules becomes more resilient, increasing his match a, a max HP by 6%. Again, why you should probably go for max HP as his primary uh, gear stat, right? Now, Hercules. Where are you going to use Hercules? You will, for the most part, um, you're probably gonna have artists, right? You're gonna have artists and he's gonna be your main tank unless you got Crete or Leo And then in that case, you're gonna run your Vanguard tanks But if you don't have a Vanguard tank, you can run Hercules and a lot of places where you're going to have to use him is on These missions in the elite missions look at here team one Deploy at least two tank hero classes. So if you want to max star these missions which is where you get your shards and you have to max star all three or all two, depending on how far you've progressed in the elite, in the elite mission. Uh, a lot of these require two tanks. So as such, I have two tanks, uh, immortal and geared, pretty much just so that I can use them in uh, this game mode. Now, since I don't have a Leo, I don't have Leo well geared. I didn't, I didn't wail out on Leo. The other place where I actually use Hercules is in my Galactic Arena. Now we need to make three teams for Galactic Arena. Let's start right here. As you see, Crete and my Assassin team. It's my top, top, da top dog daddy team. Team two is running Artist as a tank. It's running. This is like the Hunter, the multi, the multi DPS team, or multi hit DPS team. And then here is my Summoner team. You know, I got my two two good summoners. And then, you know, really debatable whether he's better than Skur or Hattie. Let's just try that. Uh, and then I got my Hercules right up out front. Now, prototypes. What prototypes work well for him? Well, since he's a tank, I actually like Ancestral Will. Uh, I, I can upgrade it more. Uh, there is a debate. You can use Helios, right? Uh, this one is nice too, but I have it uh, on my other teams because of the stats. So you can use, you can use Company Heroes, G works great. You can use Helios, works great. But I like this one, Ancestral Will, because since it's a, it's a tank tr uh, prototype and it relies or it buffs shield effects, I like it. So the healing and shield effects cast by reassemble heroes, which means tanks, is increased by 50%. So those shields that he's passing out to your allies is bigger. The shields he's applying to himself is bigger. I think that this one's a good one. This is the one I use. Now, let's oh, let's save that lineup. Let's see if I can find a fight where we can show this guy off where I'm not gonna get absolutely leveled. Uh, looks like I've been bumped down. No, I'm master 40, okay. So let's find somebody in my, well, that's a rev guy. Don't wanna fight my 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 mates. Fask Muck, let's look at him. So there's a tank team, does have Ravina in it though. 1.3, 1.1. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. 1 million. 1.4. Switch out those. So, what's a better team to show him off? But I also want to win. So this is kind of tank on tank action. So let's let's run this. Uh, actually, you know what? No, because I just want to show... I don't want to watch the other guys. So let's do this. So we're, you know, probably going to lose. We are more powerful, but Crete is by far, arguably, much better tank. They have Maserani versus my Laron. So arguably, much better healer. 
and let's try replacing like we did on the defense. Let's try replacing and throw in a weak versus an immortal Nagrama. Let's put in a weak Scooter and Hattie and see if that helps. Now we're 1 million power versus 1 million power. Uh, he's got Nagrama, uh, that weird guy Palumo, I think, and Omar. I'm running Summoners, and he has a better tank and a better healer. So let's show this guy in action. So, you know, he's he can take some hits. Look at, he's like, he's his health hasn't really budged. Now he's got a shield. Now that shield is gone. Here comes Crete. Ba-boom! And there goes Crete. He launched himself right into the middle of all my summoners, and he got just leveled. So look at Hercules. He's up there. I think he just linked with a summon. He's got a shield up. He's got a shield up. Because keep in mind, every 16%, he's going to pop a shield. No shield. Now he's linking. Now he's got a shield. That shield is also buffed by my prototype. So he's out there. He's doing his thing, just taking the hits. And look at that, he won. Against the team that was equal power with a much better tank and a much better healer. Clean sweep. I rest my case. I rest my case. So guys, if you uh, want to build up Hercules, he will work for you. Um, like I said in the introduction, he is not the best tank by any means. He's just the best tank that I have. I have him and Osea, Oisa, Oisa, sorry. Those are my two tanks that I have highly developed as such. Those are the ones I use because I'm going against a little bit higher content. So I would much rather have, say, Boar, who I'm working on, and Oak, who... I don't have a whole lot of copies. There he is. So I'd say that those are the two best non-SSS tanks and non-Vanguard tanks, but we, we work with what we got, right? So hope you enjoyed this one, guys. <clears throat> if you uh, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm trying to think of a, of a safe word to end off it. Uh, what was Hercules in the cartoon? What was his buddy? The little centaur. Well, there we go. We'll just use that. If you made it to the end of this video, put Centaur uh, into the uh, comments so that I know you made it to the end. And I will thank you profusely. Hey, Herc! Hey, Herc! 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 Can't remember that guy's name. Uh, say that, too, if you are if you can remember it in the comments. So, until next time, guys. Cheers. Peace. Catch you the next one. Bye-bye.